tutorials. Um, in this next tutorial um, on how to build a website in Wix, I'm going to touch on um, how you're going to upload and change out images. Um, so to do this, let's get into, um, let's pick a page here. Portfolio. Okay, this I'm going to show you a couple different options here. So this is a gallery. Let me get to a single picture. So if you go to the about page, and then there's this large picture in the background. So whenever you get a picture um, that is um, really large, you want to make sure that the quality of the image you're uploading is a really good quality one. or um, depending on what you are trying to place on there image wise, you might be able to use one of the Wix stock photos. So with this single picture here, um, if you go to change strip background and then select image here, it's going to allow you to change out the picture. Um, right now I have no photos uploaded because this is a new website, so there's nothing here. You can create a folder, so let's say you have, um, you're uploading, if you're a student and you're uploading Jewelry and Glass 1, and then you move on to Jewelry and Glass 2 and you want to add those pictures, you could make a second folder, that way the stuff stays separate. Um, there is also quite a few, um, images available that you can use for free from Wix. So if you click on media from Wix and you'll see all these stock photos and these are all going to be good quality. Um, so they are safe to use for a large background like that. So um, if I wanted to replace that image with, if I just find one of these to use here, here we go, change background, okay, pretend that's me. Um, you can see how it fills up the space. Now, um, if I wanted to change that image and upload my own, um, if I go to upload media right here and upload from computer, and then um, I'm gonna select one that I know is a um, better quality photo. Well, that's not where I'm going. Um, here we go. It's probably going to cut my, cut my head off when we upload it. <laughs> so sometimes, um, if the strip is really long or really wide, it's going to crop the image. So you can see, I'm guessing, yeah, see it cropped me out of there and Olivia is covered up she's behind the thing but that gives you an idea of um, of what happens there so the next thing I want to show you is how you would um, add a new image so if I wanted to put just another image down here at the bottom if I go to add image and let's just say I just want to add you know some ran this picture that I've uploaded I can move it wherever I want I can resize it, so if I need to make it smaller, bigger, wherever, put it where I want, and you're good to go. If you need to change it out, crop it, do any of that, you can do that with these buttons here. Um, so the next thing I want to show you is, once I get all this back, we'll just leave her on there. Um, the next thing I want to show you is how to change out pictures in a gallery. So if I go to the portfolio page, you're going to see um, this kind of gallery here. When I click on it and go to manage media, these are all the images that they have on there already just by default. Um, so I would start by deleting all of those pictures out so I can select all and delete them so now there are no pictures there and then I can add whatever pictures I want to have on there so um, I'm just going to randomly select 
these. I'm holding my control key down while I do this so that um, it will select them all. And hit add to page. And then I'm going to hit done. And then you can see it now has all those images on there. Um, if you don't want your bottom one to be left empty like that, I would add one more image or remove these two so that it's filled in a little better. Because um, this is like a, a three picture wide grid. Um, if you wanted to add a gallery, it's the same way as adding a picture. You just go to add gallery, select the one that you want, um, and it will pop up on your screen. So pretty simple to change out pictures. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how we are going to um, work. Thanks for watching blog. this video. So thanks Make for sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.